my name is Sean Carson and I would like to welcome you to today's instalment of our 30 day deep trance identification challenge. And in today's instalment you've um, just gone through your deep trance identification. In today's instalment we're going to show you how to activate, how to physically activate your deep trance identification. Now what does that mean? Well it goes back to the work of Alexander Rykoff. He was the um, founder, the developer of deep trance identification in Russia. And he worked with, with the musicians in the um, Moscow Conservatory of Music, talented young musicians. And he taught them how to deep trance identify with a master of their instrument. And they would do their deep trance identification and then they would physically activate it and all this means is that you do some physical action that brings your motor cortex into the equation um, at the end as you've gone through your deep trance identification. So in the case of Rykov at the, uh, at the Moscow Conservatory of Music, he would simply get the students to um, air play their instrument. So if they were playing the piano, they would simply sit there and imagine they had a keyboard in front of them and they would play a tune. Simple as that, just to bring the motor cortex online. So in your case, uh, on several occasions, we've told you um, to see the model in front of you and as you see the model in front of you, focus on some gesture that your model is making, some physical gesture, facial expression, um, something about their physicality. And to actually physically activate your deep trance identification within your own physiology, all you're going to do is to do that gesture yourself. So you'll get to the end of your deep trance identification um, process where you've, got, where you've gone into trance and you've gone through the scene um, in your event matrix. And at the end of that scene, when you come back into yourself, you're simply going to do the gesture associated with your model. So if the gesture is um, perhaps a clenched fist, then as you associate back into yourself, you'll simply make that gesture, bring your um, motor cortex online, and you will physically install the deep trance identification within your own neurology, your own physiology. So give that a try now. Go back, uh, do your deep trance identification from the last installment, and then at the end, add that gesture to install the deep trance identification in your own physiology. That's all we've got time for in this installment. We'll see you tomorrow for the next installment where we'll show you how to take these new skills and to begin to apply them in your own life. Thank you.